I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Holes podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, buddy? Edward. How you doing, dude? Our guest today uh, is not only a Hall of Fame college athlete. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was the best athlete to ever do comedy. Uh, apparently not. I was a Hall of Famer. Uh, she has been on Colbert. Don't tell. She has a great podcast called In Cahoots. The very funny Carmen Lagala. Carmen, hello. Hi. Hey, hello. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Carmen, what is your worst job? <laughs> This is honestly the hardest question I've ever had to answer because all of them were so bad and so equally bad. Does okay, that so, make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, when you were in college, you're done playing. I was a former college athlete, so mm -hmm. you have to make a conscious decision to stop sports, which mm -hmm. is a really hard thing to do, I'm assuming. Yeah. And right away, uh, what you don't decide comedy or do you? Oh, I didn't start that affects was, the job choice. Yeah. That's why I'm asking, yeah. you know, because it's all about like, what is the shittiest job you've had while trying to do this really hard job, which is stand up while trying to do stand up. Yeah, that's a different answer, I think. Oh, uh, well, no, I don't think it is a different answer. I would I think running a comedy business, I tried to run a we <laughs> a comedy <laughs> business should never be in the same fucking sentence. <laughs> Look at how you just burst. All three of us are like, <laughs> try to run. I start, I'm starting a comedy business. <laughs> Suspenders, a hey. big bow tie. <laughs> it sprays water. <laughs> oh god, yeah, there's immediate PTSD. <laughs> I had a, a comic mood from New York City to Vermont and he wanted to open up a space and I partnered with him and this is before you started doing stand up. I had just started. I was like brand new. I think I was like two years, one year in, something like that. So you lived it you live are you from Vermont? Yes. You're from Vermont. So yeah. you're up there, you, that's where you started comedy. Yep. And now somebody from New York comes up and you're yeah. like, Now did you think he was like more of an established comic than you? Or oh yeah, you for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, I was like, New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You could do one mic in New York at that point. I was like, You're famous. <laughs> and he was very funny. Um I don't I don't think he still does it, but he yeah, we <laughs> tried to open up we okay he bought out a cafe that had comedy nights and then we tried to rebrand it as just comedy and that was oh and he was like we're a partnership but he had a full-time job working for the government he was not so able you were to doing help everything. so i just had to like learn how to run an entire business by myself oh, God. and it, there's like a lot that goes into it turns out <laughs> yeah the, like, the tax paperwork <laughs> alone already makes me want to start crying <laughs> who okay i've cried on a lot of jobs but this one uh who made me cry this woman came in and she was like the inspector <laughs> one, of those, <laughs> one of those like inspectors who just comes in and like ruins your entire life and she was like, I don't like this basement. There's a hole in the floor. I'm like, I don't use the basement for the business. Like, what is happening? Yeah. She's like, there's a light bulb. I don't like that. And she just like, she was like, your business has to shut down. <laughs> We're like, what? So was she, she wasn't for Vermont. She was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wait. I don't I don't yeah. Yeah. And then you do that. <laughs> Pull up on a tractor. <laughs> That's always the people that inspect. Too. The yeah. They understand. Yeah. She's a red tape fuckers. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Home. They're just talking to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way she's still alive there's just no way People like that live a long time that's though. true uh, Carmen, that's especially true. in vermont where it's cold it preserves the body <laughs> people are probably older in vermont have you looked this up ever oh they're definitely older older right yeah because people aren't like young like let's go to vermont and live there yeah in the woods with no one <laughs> yeah well yeah i guess you have less heart attacks too right like if you're like i mean vermont you're cutting a lot more wood is that what I'm, I'm imagining? Yeah. Like I, mean, I, I, I was about to be like, there. no. It's like my whole family definitely cuts <laughs> wood. Amish. So yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> they do cut wood. Oh, <laughs> stand corrected. What? So you cried because the inspector was going in on you. Yeah, she was so mean, and she was like shutting us down, and we were already struggling. And uh, I think I called like the uh, the main office, like crying, and they were like, oh yeah, that's Deborah or oh, whatever her name notorious. is. And they were like, we'll send someone else. So they sent like another guy who was like, you're fine. Oh, oh. yeah. They just See, like let how Deborah do, I ever do trust it. Trust any authority? No. That's why I always complain. If I, I mean, I, I'm I, if I don't like something, I will I will always ask for it with like customer service stuff because I mm -hmm. know there's always somebody that can override yes. another person. Yes. 
Oh, dude. I health inspector? I mean, have you ever dealt with health, health inspectors? No, you're before? a waiter guy. Dude, yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. my buddy, a, a buddy of mine was a health inspector, and mm. he would just he was just on the take. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And it wasn't the like- The job probably pays $5 an hour because they know you're going to make well, he's working. Well, he's working for the city, <laughs> but like he's on the take in, like, in a way like- Get me high, give me a beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I yeah, want yeah. lunch. You I'll know what I mean? I'll take some food and I'll overlook that you don't have a date on your orange juice. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. stuff that, like, who cares? Exactly. That yeah. you can literally, yeah. like, the little things that could take you from a A to a, a B. Yeah. yeah. You could be like, I want a $100 tab a week here. I come in, mm-hmm. bring a date. So mm. I would, I, whoever I was dating, I would take them everywhere. Yeah. We would live like kings and queens. <laughs> <laughs> Off of my inspector job, man. You I got like, a hundred tab you here. Henry, I got a hundred dollar tab here. Like on my route, Henry Hill walking to the fucking. <laughs> He'll just be like a good fellows. <laughs> <laughs> walk through the kitchen. Spanish guys like taking their chef's hat off, looking at me. It would be amazing. Yeah, Sorry, that would be awesome. Yes, I hadn't even thought of that. I didn't give them any perks. That's probably why know, she didn't. Oh, and you're so smiley and nice, Carmen. I've the first time I've ever met you, and you seem very nice. No, I'm I'm a huge bit. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at Carmen's uh, social media because I want to do my homework. Right, you make some of the craziest faces. That's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> like, like the faces she does in her sketches, and you do this cool thing where you can. You have this thing where you're not. It was like Lady Godiva with the huge bush. Uh, that was like the the. Oh, that's really old. It's really old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you how? Did a deep dive. How cool! Like, what a great idea to not really show anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. give the illusion yep. that it's a sexy pic. That is genius. Thank you for because <laughs> oh, I can't I have to pull, check it out. What the, it, the I mean, not in a creepy <laughs> way. <laughs> no, you can't in a creepy way because there's it's nothing, nothing to be shown. It's like technically not at all sexy. I have a lot of pictures like that where people are like, you did something like really sexy on the gram and then we go back and look and they're like, it's not. No, no, it's no, nothing. You have that yeah. one oh, where good. you put your yeah. comedy, yeah, like you're sitting on something from behind mm-hmm. and you're obviously wearing a bathing suit, but you put your dates over where the butt, the butt is. Yeah. I so it's like, <laughs> yes. See, I like that. I wish I could do that. But that, I don't can. think you should do it. You should do it over your nips. <laughs> <laughs> just like getting out of the shower. It's just like straight just over like your nips. Just like the tightest uh, <laughs> banana hammocks I could find and <laughs> tiny print over the bowl to block the showing. I don't know how I would pull that off. But I like the way you did that because the For content's sure. really funny. And you're right. It, it makes people double take it enough mm-hmm. to where they want to click on it. I yeah. love that. Yeah, like, I'm like, yeah, that's definitely like a smart strategy behind it. That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> Not be, me being like, please don't look at me. Please don't look at my body. <laughs> we have a theme on the show when we have comedians in. Um, you know, the show's about how hard it is to not only... Because making in comedy, you know, I, I do a lot of hustles where people go, oh, so this guy, if he gets on Fallon, he makes it. No, no, no. We've had numerous people in mm-hmm. here that are like, yeah, I did my I did my late night thing and then I had to go to my job. Did you when you yeah. did Colbert, did you have a job you had to go to after? Oh yeah. What was I, the job? What was I doing? In 2018 I was babysitting. I think I was um I think at that time oh I had a, I was working for a really good family. I love this family so much. We're mm-hmm. still in touch. Like I walk their dog and then I would pick up their daughter or their son from school, bring them back, um, and then hang out. They're just like the best family. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So you were so that babysitting. Was like a fun, yeah, basically. So give me the Cinderella story because I like doing this now, yeah, yeah. right? Give me like the day of the show because then we. Get, I love the next morning where you have to go clean up a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, puke. yeah. yeah. Like, up, I love that one minute and you're in Ed shit. Sullivan Theater <laughs> and the next minute some kid's shitting on you. I love that <laughs> dichotomy. So they pick you up, I assume. I think that was what I was doing. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. If I was dog walking, I feel like, I would, but that's like something I like blocked out. Dog walking was so miserable. That looks like oh, one of really? the hardest jobs. Dog ever. It's the hardest job I've ever had oh, for the least amount of money I've ever made in my life. It's because of the rain too. and this, it's all yes. the weather elements. Everything. Yeah. And the like keys would dogs. break off indoors. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, that happened to me like yeah, right. more and than then, once. And you're stepping into like someone's just just disgusting home. You know what I mean? <laughs> or like, no, no, they're like rich and you're like oh, jealous oh. of this dog's life. <laughs> <laughs> just sweating, so having to like food? find the dog. Where's your fucking dog? I got fired from a dog my first day for sure just because they had it. It was in the bathroom. It had locked itself in the bathroom. So I assumed since it was a puppy, they wanted it back in the bathroom. So you and locked I, it back in the bathroom? I locked it back in the bathroom <laughs> with water this time. And the dog like destroyed the entire bathroom and they were livid. And I was like, your dog was in the bathroom. Right. Yeah. I thought that's where you needed the dog 
to be and no, i was like i'm too busy the door himself in there yeah. well then that's a different problem let me know your dog knows how to fucking lock doors that's insane yeah, yeah, yeah. so the dog literally locked himself in the bathroom yeah like went in the bathroom and shut the door on itself so like i found the dog which was great but i was like that's weird that they want the dog in like a dark room but like i guess that's better than a crate is what i was right. thinking i was yeah, like that's right. their yeah. crate especially it's like a puppy like you don't yeah. yeah right it doesn't it's not an absurd mm-hmm. uh, notion to mm-hmm. think that they put the dog in that right. bathroom yeah absolutely and there's no water so i got out with some water do you ever have a do you ever have like a <laughs> dog like like an aggressive dog you ever have to walk like an aggressive yes dog? i worked for a company that specifically liked to work with <laughs> Problematic, <laughs> mentally insane dogs. Why I'm do not joking. Okay, why like, do dogs were either dog like walking, <laughs> to get into this because I a, love that's dogs. Hard, I do okay, love right. dogs. So it wasn't just because it was easy and you were doing stand up and you thought I could it was a perfect schedule, schedule for stand up. Okay, it right. was a perfect schedule. Continue. For stand-up. Sorry, um, but yeah, this yeah this company that just like really wanted to work with like and that is a lot of dogs anyway in the city because yeah. they're all like anxious. Yeah. But yeah, I had like a one dog I had to walk by itself, which I actually love this dog. Me and this dog were really close. His name is Remy. I hope Remy's still doing great. <laughs> Remy was not allowed around any people. <laughs> I had to wait until the building was like empty and like peek around corners and stuff and like sneak the dog out. I didn't make eye contact with the dog for a year, I think. Wow. Was not like allowed to or encouraged to. Oh, Very aggressive wow. dog. Holy Big shit. dog. Were you scared? Mm. Not really with this. I had like a very tiny, tiny dog that I refused to walk because uh-huh. it would like sit in the shadows and then try to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and it would just pee on the carpet and then come out to attack me. And I was like, no, never mind. Yeah, but this I- dog never did anything. And I felt like we had a kinship where I was like, don't attack me. I won't attack you. And when you lunge at people, try not to use your full power. And the dog was like, fine. <laughs> you, had a, you had a non-verbal agreement <laughs> yeah, with the yeah. animal. I love I it. I gave it treats. <laughs> gave it pets. So you don't remember for sure what it was after Colbert. Let's, are we clear I, on this? I didn't even have like a great... Ex- that was such a stressful period of time. Okay. So I'm not 100% sure. It really was like five or f- over five years ago. So you, so I, I was oh it stressful man, I to create know. those set lists or what they put you through? Yeah, it was a year long process. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Was it really a year? Yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. for some people, it's much faster. Yeah. But my circumstance was about a year. A year. Wow. Yeah. So you're going through all this when I'm going to be on the show, and you mm-hmm. finally do it, and now it's mm-hmm. like the pressure is even more because you've been waiting a year, and now you mm-hmm. got to get it right. Mm-hmm. So then you get on the show, you do your thing, mm-hmm. and then the next morning you wake up. And you, you're pretty <laughs> sure you went to go babysit. <laughs> Probably. I don't even know what day of the week I recorded on. Did you tell people you were on the show? <laughs> yeah, like barely though. Yeah, I don't know. I was like weirdly ashamed of it. I was like, oh, it's clean material. It is like not. I don't really stand by almost any of those jokes. I mean, it's five wow. years ago. Yeah. yeah, five years ago. It's five years That's ago. True. Yeah, yeah. And it had to be squeaky clean, which is not really what I do. Uh huh. Right. So it was. It was, was that. It, was that back when? Because I, I don't know if it's 2018, but they were doing like batches at a time yes uh, that one, was the i was i think the first set of they did when like they did them doing batch. it didn't meet colbert right. they had a beautiful gift basket though things mm-hmm. that i still use there's a little speaker in it that <laughs> oh, can, nice. portable you can throw it in water <laughs> i have one of those yeah they're nice like the JDL. best yeah yeah <laughs> yes it's awesome i love those speakers colbert I, good gift steven <laughs> thank you good guy i love that uh, i was there when matt Reese did letterman and uh, mm-hmm. he didn't get to mm-hmm. meet. I think he might have met Letterman mm-hmm. the first time he did it, but I don't know if that was like a practice of him meeting people if he didn't know you in the back. But I know uh, like Fallon makes it a point, right? We had Andre yeah. on. And he said Fallon came back and said hi to him. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. That's an interesting play. I think like every late night host uh, tries to have their thing like Carson because Carson had the couch. Oh. If he liked your set, he called you over kind of right. thing. I feel I like talking to comics that have done late night because, uh, you know, I want to know. Did you feel like you're going to be something bigger after it was done? Five years ago, yeah. right? Did yeah. you? Right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Not that you're not, you're doing yeah, great. No, no, you know what I'm, I'm saying. not. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has a job, and I mean this sincerely, She's I've been Remy looking tied for up one. out front. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to walk around me again. <laughs> the best dog. Uh, so once you get done doing that, mm-hmm. and you're, it sounds like you haven't had during comedy a lot of like straight up jobs it's a lot of like mm-hmm. something that's conducive to your time like yeah a dog walker or yeah. a babysitter yep but you came in with your very worst job and it wasn't mm-hmm. any of those during that period do you have another job actually dog walking was probably the worst <laughs> yeah. yeah now that i'm like no thinking way. about it pretty hard but i did like when i worked at that 
that comedy space it was so frustrating like i threw a laptop against a wall oh wow That's how bad it was. Yeah. and what year is this so like laptops were heavy back then yeah, too. yeah they were it was it was this like, was like MacBook? not yeah, even like, like a- an hp like something <laughs> off off brand where yeah. it was like an x silencer or something like a hundred dollars and it was such a piece of shit it like broke things yeah. when you threw it yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's exciting so how do you make money when you start a business like that is it through you the loan you do not you don't right? <laughs> you lose a lot of money uh, but not me personally. Yeah. Yeah. I did not lose money. I so just what was the business model actually? So he came down, he came up from mm-hmm. New York mm-hmm. or down, I guess he came down. Up, right? yeah. Up, up. Yeah. I'm I know. I want to say down too. <laughs> but, so, get, but like, what is the earth and like, what is to say what's up and what's down? <laughs> so what was a launch dude actually? <laughs> uh, no. So you were just charging tickets to get into the cafe. Is yes. that was the, uh, no $8 for shows. I think is what people paid and there was an open mic there were shows open mic on thursdays shows friday saturday like with newer comment like we That's were all like grind, new man. and bad but there was nothing else happening in the yeah. city like that Should so everybody was cornered. very excited like we even had hannibal barrest is our biggest drop in oh. Yeah, that was crazy. He, he came during an open mic night, which is actually good because that's the place was, I broke fire code. I can say it now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we broke fire code every single Seven Thursday. Seven years later, mm-hmm. <laughs> it comes out. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. So how many seats were in there? Ooh. Like 60? Um, Probably less, probably like 50. Oh, Shouldn't you can make money seen. off of space like that. I guess. I mean, 10 bucks a head. Such I don't a know. Grind, though, it's dude. open during the day, though. Business yeah, owner. I don't know. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, I it's don't also know. a cafe during the day, and it was like it was like running a business from like a really shitty Brooklyn kitchen. There's like a broken toaster. Like you're just like, what do we? There's like a microwave that was <laughs> should have been a little lunch that should have gotten us like a health code virus. <laughs> that was a disgusting <laughs> you're old. You're making like pizza, those little frozen pizzas. Mm-hmm. You're serving basically up. stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah, nachos. Of, that's oh. like the that's, oh, that's the, the move, though, right? Like, to, yeah. to pad the the cash. The cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're selling mm-hmm. just like worst just shit garbage market, food. Yeah, yep. you could find. <laughs> yep. And you put like some extra shit on them, like with the specialty yep. sauce. Just yes. mayo and Thousand Island. You're mixing up. You're yes. Comedy cafes. Mm, yes. Secret comedy sauce. <laughs> or ha-ha sauce. They put it all over this mm-hmm. empanada. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha sauce. Yo. See? You were selling ha-ha, 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 ha-ha sauce. sauce. I get into the ha-ha Yo. sauce. I don't know. Uh, reopen this business. Comedy business, baby. <laughs> so when you, now I'm dying to know. So once you do Colbert, mm-hmm. are you like fucking... Because the business is so different even now, five years later, with... Mm-hmm. We talk about this all the time about the way social media and everything is done, like the way the marketing angle is so much more important than literally anything else. Mm-hmm. So, do you start working the road right away? No, nobody, <laughs> nobody approached me. Nothing happened. Um, I went on one audition for NBC because it uh, aired on NBC, and they're like, maybe we can make her into an actor. So they had me audition for a show that never came out. It was the worst script I've ever read in my life. I don't know who you are, but your doctor show sucked. It was so bad. Um, I could hear them shit talking me as I left. Oh wow! <laughs> and say? they said like like a couple lines in there like you should just take acting classes. And I was like, you're. It was like the guy <laughs> I was yet. reading with was like yeah like twenty years old, and he's like you need to take an acting class. And I was oh, like God. I don't. But oh. the, can I just write for the show? Like yeah. I can make I can fix this script. It's the script. I should, but I wasn't. I didn't have like that yeah, kind of yeah, like right. yeah. that like yeah at that time. Now I would have been like the yeah. script is bad and I can fix it. But yeah. at that time I was like okay. Oh man. <laughs> and they were like shoo, and then I never got anything again. <laughs> so you do have writing gigs now, right? No. Oh, you don't? No. 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 I thought you had some writing stuff. No. 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 I should. I don't. Need, I need well, like a. I was hoping you could introduce them to some gigs. And that's why <laughs> I asked you on the show. Ed. <laughs> I had a packet sitting over there. That's his ready packet. <laughs> God damn it. You just, as you're leaving, I'm shredding it. <laughs> I'm just going through a shredder. Thanks for coming, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> so Carmen, did, you're more successful than us. What does that say about us? <laughs> I think we're all the exact same. I did get the Colbert packet a couple times, but they gave up because I just couldn't. I can't do it. I can't write for late night television. Okay. Oh, right. Because it's all a lot of current event stuff and... Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, those kinds of jokes. The Yeah. The odd, can't yeah, and they're, like, fleeting, too. Like, mm-hmm. they last, mm-hmm. like, for, like, a week. Mm-hmm. So you, you're putting this effort into this mm-hmm. joke that then is like, man, eh, that was fun. Yeah. 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 Gone. For never, yeah. 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 Just and not the news cycle that. now is so much faster than it was. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 10 years ago, where a joke you wrote could stay kind of relevant for a week. Now yeah. it's... 
Let's say, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess, or I, I guess the only things that kind of last is like, a, like a characteristic of a, like a president. Right or like you pick like a congressman. I mean, any, like if, yeah. yeah, like a Lindsey. You got Grant, four years. You know, of, yeah, hey, I, got, I got a pocket full of Lindsey Graham bits over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can pull one out every month. Yeah, yeah. What uh, do you do you like stand up as opposed to? <laughs> just, you don't have to keep going with the sentence. <laughs> you can answer as right now. opposed to any other job. That's really the. That's really the universal question I mm -hmm. ask myself every mm -hmm. single day as a 42-year-old mm -hmm. adult mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. has tons of bills. Yep. Is, you know, I can't stop stand-up because I, well, I love it, but mm -hmm. also I make money at it. So why would I give money? I don't make enough money. I have to do a lot mm -hmm. of other stuff to make the full right. money. Yep. Uh, but it's still worth mm -hmm. the effort. But it's, I could feel it getting like, if it doesn't grow a little bit, mm -hmm. I don't know if I could keep farming this area. You know, like it, the soil, I don't know if it's fertile enough. Yeah. Do you ever feel that? <laughs> do you feel like... Right, no, like, I feel you? secure and happy <laughs> and fulfilled and like making $5,000 a year is enough, you know? That's, yeah. that's enough for me. <laughs> I mean, what do you like? What is your... What's like your take on the current state of events? Because like you're funny... You're doing it right. You're, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the general sense of like <laughs> you're funny as well. I'm just saying like the, you're you know you're doing it right. Uh -huh. You know you're doing what was asked of you, mm -hmm. and then some. You know like mm -hmm. you're everything's right, right. Mm -hmm. But it's just not right, right, right producing right. Mm -hmm. the way you mm -hmm. need it to produce. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck do you do? It keeps changing, right? Yeah. Right. You know well, what Carmen, I mean? Yeah, what like when do? we came up, we were like Comedy Central Half Hour, right? Yes. We all wanted that, and we all wanted like Conan. Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was and really all were, I wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Conan was always like, oh man, if you yeah. could get Conan, yeah, God, Ugh, it's the dream. best. It was it was like Letterman and Conan. Letterman, if you got yeah. one of those two, mm -hmm. you felt like, oh, I, I made a comedy career out of this. I actually yeah. did it. Because you can, you were able to do more back then oh, with you that. Get, just with that credit alone, yeah. you mm -hmm. could start headlining credit. every mm -hmm. comedy club in America mm -hmm. with the Letterman credit. Mm -hmm. Now you can get on like a bar show with like Seriously? three credits. People are like, mm, if they look no. at your TikTok and they're like, sorry, or your Instagram, your, you know, your socials aren't where we need them to be. I fucking did, uh, I did like five late night sets. Well, yeah. well, you know, we need to sell at least 20 tickets tonight so we can't mm -hmm. have you on the show. What, yeah, I don't know. Who do you kill then? Ed, who do you I, light the room on fire? Like, let's get severe here. What, if Carmen, somebody, you in? Like, hold on a second. So, like, so you're asking me. So, if I had five different late night spots, and somebody told me your TikTok isn't big enough, your socials. Yeah, man. That'd be but hard. But it was right? a face to face thing. No, no, no. Well, you, you're no. asking me how I would react. I didn't know if that because I might into a hole. Let's let's. Because I'm thinking, like, am I in? Phil, where am I? Am I in Philadelphia? <laughs> <laughs> so Just like, do I have a car out front? We already are called the working <laughs> class holes. We can't really start talking about doing violence. It's just too much. We got to balance it out. We got a nice person here. Carmen is actually very nice. Also, I didn't know you'd be this miserable. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, it's the worst when somebody comes in happy, though, isn't it? I know, you know what I mean? Like, and I was like, like yeah, she's going to get a great. coffee. And you know, I'm like, okay, get... cool. You know, I wonder, you know, how cheerful she'll be when she gets here. And I, when you were misery. <laughs> I actually don't I drink it. coffee. This is a mistake. This is me backsliding. This is going to give me a panic attack later. Oh, yeah? I'm not you seem medically to have a lot of hangups. I like that about you. <laughs> like, I actually was like, I said to Ed, oh, you know, this is how this is how rigid Ed is. I'm like, oh, you know, you should just text her that I have an espresso machine here and I can just make an espresso. You know, I, I like the people who be able to sit down, right? <laughs> well, no, she... I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Once you sent something and I saw your text late, I just want to be able to sit down. You know, then it's like I'm gonna. I don't know if she's already getting the coffee. I don't want to like send. A, if you had sent a message and I immediately got it, I would have responded. But it was like a delayed six minutes. Oh, that and makes I'm like, complete I don't wanna, sense. Yeah. It's not even about her or me offering. It was about your response. I was just trying. And how like so when Ed and I do the road. Mm -hmm. Ed will like talk about getting. We talk about getting gas, or like I got to open up the thing over. But you remind me to. You got the. You got the battery. Like a fucking random battery. Like Ed has a million. The whole time we're driving to a gig, like because I I feature for Josh, so we go we do these road gigs, and I'm mm -hmm. like. Okay, so in the bag I got two mics. <laughs> I start listing. The thing was. I start like, listing the thing. I'm like, he's like, should I make her an espresso? I'm like, oh, should she just have her come in, sit down, we start. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know, Carmen. I don't know. So what's the, what do we? What's the next move then? Like, what should we be doing? Suicide. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> oh man, here's what I. Okay, I do think that making a bunch of videos and putting them out on all the social media stuff is actually not the move because that's what everybody's doing and that's what everybody says the move is mm -hmm. and it's becoming oversaturated just like everything else. I agree with that. We have to figure out what the, the next pivot. thing What's is. The pivot, Ooh, yeah. I like this. But I don't what know what it is. Back but there, to there's going to be something. Yeah, there's going to yeah. be something else and if you can hit that crest and ride that out, that's yeah. the move. But here's the thought I had and you tell me because I like that you had a suicide thing just now because I feel like <laughs> you are an extreme person, even if it's a joke. I was thinking that all the investing we're doing in the and like, oh, we got to show this, we got to do a clip, get content. Mm -hmm. I like the part of it where it's serving to the brand, like us doing the show. Yeah, that's been great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me on my own, having to be so self-absorbed, because you really gotta enjoy watching yourself talk to edit mm. clips mm -hmm. day after you could say all you want like you know but if you uh, there are some people that it's their business now so they have to do it and they hire out people to do it yeah. i know people Ooh, that are great. doing it with like 300 followers because yeah. mm -hmm. they love themselves they're so in enamored everything they say is the fucking funniest thing mm -hmm. and oh it makes me sick to my stomach, Carmen. So <laughs> I <too>. <laughs> <laughs> you know. so I choose to like how do we bring back where you could just do like a real thing and get famous? <laughs> like you actually have to be talented at something. Is it just like a the meritocracy? Has it ever existed? But don't you think in some degree it has? We yes, wouldn't have gotten I into do. this. Because you're a former athlete and that's why I bring it up. For those mm -hmm. of you who don't know, Carmen ran the intermeters uh, for what university? University of Vermont. And she is in their Hall of Fame. That's incredible. And for yes. what? For a record you set? Um, I think I set a few. So like overall? <laughs> oh, wow. I think most of them have been beaten except for some of them. I don't know. I don't really remember which ones. What's, uh, so you don't I remember any of your big milestones, period. You said, <laughs> how do we? I can tell you my what? best 800 time. That's about it. What was it? 208.03. In what year, if you don't mind me asking? I think sophomore year, actually. Okay. Sophomore or junior, sophomore year probably, and I was like, "Oh, great! I'll make the Olympics pretty soon." Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's not. It's not as fast as I want it to be, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you it went. To, you're enough. trying to go to the Olympics. That was the next move for you, and you. Just um, I'm sure I had Olympic dreams. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> best job I ever had was coaching. Keep going. Oh. Uh, was coaching high school track and field, cross oh, country, cool. cross country, isn't it? Yeah, it was so fun. They're so funny. Kids are so fucking funny at that age, and you just you're just like go for a run, and they're like no, and you're like <laughs> okay, I don't know. What did you want to say? Ed? So, because I, I have a track about, story. I was asking about 800 meters. Is 800 mm -hmm. meters um, like 50 meter dash is very short? So 800 meters that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it's a hundred meter. meter dash. Hundred meter dash. <laughs> Not since yeah. maybe like the Greek. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> or like third grade. <laughs> maybe back yeah, in yeah, your yeah, scumbag third silly. <laughs> The mile run the where it's like around the, the Olympics. building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, who measured this? You're running like a two minute mile. You're like, I guess I'm the fastest kid in the world. I love that. You have to like push kindergartners out of the way to get through the. I love uh, that. It's, so now it's two laps. But two laps on the big two laps two around full like laps. a quarter mile track. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so four laps would have been a mile. That, so there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah. know the difference between meters and miles. That's why I get confused. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But anyway, so They're close. track, They're you coached high school track. I ran track in high school. I am going to suggest to my son, if he likes sports, to definitely run track. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful women. I was just about to say the co-ed factor was oh, really what it, drew me in. It really did because <laughs> everyone was in incredible shape mm -hmm. and you're wearing oh, the skimpiest of skimpy stuff, mm -hmm. like especially women that do the uh, javelin or like uh, pretty much all of it. Like yeah, nowadays, it. especially used to be like those sh dolphin kind of shorts with the built in underwear. That would be like the track yeah. stuff. Ugh, now women wear absolute like spandex. Yeah, it's bathing suit oh. and sports oh, bra. Especially women that yeah, run the 800. Yeah. Yep. They wear almost nothing. Mm -hmm. And they're, the muscle definition, there's so much more of it because it's a torque speed, Ed. I think school you. Uh, the <laughs> marathon gets more thin and lean. Okay. But the fat, the sprinters, they get like yeah. the bubble butt and oh. the great legs. Yeah. Like Jackie Joyner Kersey, mm -hmm. Flo Jo. And we're talking like shelf butts oh okay mm -hmm. uh which is my thing ed yeah. and you know i felt right at home 
I would you literally lay in the grass before your I because I remember being very much uh my sex drive being very high as a as a young man, like seventeen, and being in that you're laying in the grass and you're watching these beautiful women stretch and sprint, like it is really hard to keep your mind anywhere else but like That's I'm wild. never gonna get a girl that looks like that. It was so awesome and depressing all in the same moment. That's so cool because I played I went to an all boys high school and all my sports there was never like the, the like sex was so separate from sports like you would never get like horny <laughs> dude at a, a practice track was insane that's wild yeah that's like why i ran track i really? also had the same similar yeah like just a huge sex drive <laughs> it was just you know didn't know what it was either you're just like sitting there just pent up everyone's yeah running around in their little outfits <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you date a lot on the team? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we Isn't shared that? buses and we would just be there like glaring at oh, each yeah, other. Oh, yeah, because boys and girls shared the bus. Everybody's yep. together. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, other teams had more money and bigger teams, so they'd be separate on the buses. I think I like made sure that I went to a college where it was just like everyone's on the same bus. <laughs> We're staying in the same hotel rooms. You'd get your roommate to switch with you and you just go. Oh, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What a. Uh, you're like applying for colleges. Like, what's the transportation situation? <laughs> like I'm sweaty and half naked because that's what I'm looking for. Oh, people for. get jobs after they go to Harvard. Okay, if you're in the what Hall of Fame, you probably could have got a scholarship to a bigger school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I passed up going to SC because you know the bus rides are better in Vermont. They separated the boys and the girls. Can't have that. <laughs> you gotta let mama eat. <laughs> Did you know? Like, I knew. I was fast, but I didn't know I was track fast till later on. Did you know right away like I could run serious track? Because in high school you must have been dominant to go run in. In college. high school, actually, I was fast in high school, especially for Vermont. But yeah. I wasn't. I was the coaches that recruited me were ones who were kind of like smart about it, where they were like, "Oh, we know how much training she's done to get this speed," and it was like almost no training. Yeah, and I would train uh. in like. Yeah, you rain boots me as like a i was an idiot yeah <laughs> I no. feel like you just walk out places and i'm ready to go like yes. I, that's i feel like that i would eat vibe. like a full thing of fettuccine alfredo even in college i got food poisoning are before you like the championships are you spanish um, um you don't know you're like in a tiny either. tiny bit of like it's too complicated <laughs> okay. to get into but right. basically like a little bit of each on okay. yeah. both sides um but yeah, I would like eat expired pizza and then just go like. Hey, Ed loves that's, expired pizza. Yeah, that's my jam. I didn't know you could leave this out. out. Yeah, I love old meat food. lovers overnight. And then the next morning, I was like, I guess this is breakfast before championship race. I, I you forgot my in uniform. Rain boots? The, yeah, I the visual of you running an 800 meters and ranked. We should actually do that. For that's this hilarious. Show. We should all put a rain boots on and run it. I, that would be so. You'd eat shit. Oh, I'd probably dude. blow my ACL. Yeah, that There's would no like, way. No, I think you, well, you'd be like kind of strapped in. You just run real weird. Oh, you <laughs> like haven't running seen in me. braces. I'm, I, I'm at the point now where running is like I got about thirty seconds in oh, me before I'm yeah. like Ed has yeah. a thing. Yeah. You should see Ed <gasps> go to bed. Ritual. Got it. Oh yeah. I have a whole, like, sleep apnea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a whole, like, sleep <laughs> apnea, CPAP thing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. fun. It's a good time. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Party. It's all, all party. Right. It's your soulmate. It's all party. <laughs> you just inspired tuna for sandwiches together. You can help me put on the, the Strap CPAPs. me in. <laughs> uh, uh, Looking over at Ed in a fucking uh, one -off, like a off-brand Motel 6. That's how bad this place was. And he's just in the... <laughs> and I'm next to him in this like bu bed bug bed. Oh man, it, those are the dreams. Oh, like, comedy are made. That's made fantastic. That's what we do this for. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So what's the podcast about? What's in cahoots about? Um, it's me and my boyfriend. We started it to just sort of like riff and like play games. I have a lot of like dumb games that I like to introduce. We watch videos. What's like a like dumb game? Hodgepodge of stuff. I have a game called Three Two One that I invented, Ooh. where I make you come up with. You have to answer when I hit one. And um, just usually people's brains are not fast well, enough to come up with something like that. Right right uh, okay, yeah. um, let's Please, see. Can I go first? Y you have one? You know the game? No, I never play this game ever. <laughs> I feel like it's already too late. You know it. Is no, it oh win? no. Oh. It's more just to see what people come up with uh, for something like okay. Oh, uh, I like to go first for that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Can we? Yeah. All right. You have a newborn son. What's its name? Three, two, one. You have Gus. to <laughs> what? Gus. Gus. 
you have to answer one though. You gotta answer. Okay, faster do it again. Sorry, do a different one. <laughs> this is hard. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think, but you already have tattoos, so I can't do that one. I like how fast you say it. You, Carmen's like, yeah, she's doing Yeah, you got it. I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> I was not prepared for how fast. Let's Carmen do one more. Say. I don't want to. I don't want to put the show to a halt. But I'm enjoying okay, this one. Okay. This is good. This is one of my favorites. Okay, um, you invented. A new sexual position. What's it called? Three, two, one. F- F- Foggart. <laughs> I like Foggart. 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 It's yeah. from the side. Uh, you already I used, know what it is. I used to call it Sunday fucking, <laughs> but uh, I, I couldn't come up with Sunday by one, so I called it Foggart. I don't know Foggart. why Foggart. Oh, what I, thought is it? I thought it was Frogger. I thought you were like doing no, like no, a frog. I, I, Foggart. Hey, I like that. I don't know why, but I, I, I do like that too, but that would be more of a upright. It's more of fog. Ert. <laughs> <laughs> you would lay on the side, you know, like we just yeah, when you're, when you're you just tap. It, yeah, is yeah, it yeah, inertia? Yeah, yeah. The ert is it's like Sunday inertia. morning. You don't want to move. You de- Foggart. Like, doggy ah, on your side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got there you. you. Go. Okay, Foggart, that's right. That was good. Nice. Thank you so much. Three, two, one, everybody. Yeah, that's three, two, one. one. Makes you listen to in cahoots for the three, two, one. <laughs> is your boyfriend a comedian as well? Yes. So yeah. he's doing funny. Th- you guys are at least you have a teammate. A comedy yeah. teammate. Yeah. You guys do the nice. road together? Yeah, we just, yeah, a little bit. We okay. just started. I mean, we've been dating for a shorter period of time, but let's see. Yeah, we're going to Denver next week, week after. Oh, great. Yeah. How does it work in the road with someone that you're banging? It's great because you only get one hotel room and yeah. I can't pay and they can't pay enough for some for me to bring somebody to Denver. So every time I go to Denver, I don't bring anybody. Yeah. But this time they're like, do you want to just bring your boyfriend? He, of course he wants to come. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Kind of That's hotel great. room. Yeah. It makes it easier. It does make me feel guilty because it is like, like I should probably be bringing like a black woman on the road or something like that, you know? <laughs> oh, like just to kind of like help out. Uh, yeah, you're, like, you're bringing like a I want to bring guy. a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Compliment gotcha. to you. I, I completely agree. But at the end of the day, that's like a part about comedy. That's like one of those unspoken things that they don't. There's no like book for stand up and the protocols, mm-hmm. right? And you never, you never know until it's too late that the people that bring you on the road are the ones that either you don't like sometimes some people want to be challenged like Bill Burr brings a lot of funny people to, mm, Nate mm-hmm. brings funny people to open for him mm-hmm. but it's about the hang yeah because they gotta be you gotta be in a car with them for nine hours you gotta be to get share a hotel room like I need somebody that I know for a fact is not gonna annoy the fuck out of me <laughs> well the other thing too is in this situation if you were getting paid 10 grand, five grand or something like that. You <laughs> would wish. have, yeah, you would have a- Oh yeah, then I would be able to bring- Of course. Yeah. This is yes. more, yes. I, and no, cause I know Corey, he's very yeah. funny, but yeah. it's no slight against him, but it's more of like an economic situation yes. where it's like, this pays nothing. Right. This would be great for us to both go. We both, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Probably, I can't yeah. bring, yeah, one of yeah. my other friends on the road because right. it's like, I never would have been able to bring her anyway. Because sure. Because I can't afford that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately. But, so are yeah. you, speaking of money now, are you still doing side jobs or are you I making need, enough? literally need one i've been oh. googling like side hustles under the table jobs stuff like that i desperately need something have but you ever waited hard. tables yes have you ever done that? that's i can't believe i didn't say that was my yeah, worst job but it was hard those... to pick a restaurant because they were all so bad <laughs> did you get fi- did you get fired from probably sky burgers probably sky, sky burgers, burgers. Was the worst. Where's that at? Where's doesn't that? exist anymore it was oh. in burlington that sounds fantastic though. it was like the burgers were <laughs> fucking delicious to be fair they were really good but the staff and everything was awful the people um, were awful yeah, I had like a, it was fun at first, and then like the head boss came in and started doing stuff, and she was a real viper. Uh, <laughs> yeah. was, oh, restaurant bosses are, like, those she, people that yeah. are like lifers, you know, I, like I think those. She was, she was putting money into it, and she just didn't like the way her husband was running it. So she came in, oh. and she called me in early in the morning to fire me, which is like, you don't have to are fire me serious? twice, you just text me. <laughs> yeah. How'd that, how that go when you walked in? I panicked, and I like shook her hand. I was like, very good. Like... <laughs> Yeah. Pleasure. <laughs> I might have said something catty on the way out, like I'm the only one who doesn't talk shit about you behind your back, oh, something wow. like that. Like what I wanted to get like for? one last thing in. I mean, I. Sh- uh, what did she say? I think I wasn't putting like my name tag on the table, yeah. but I was like, I know these people. These are my regulars. I'm not gonna put my name on the table every time. It feels weird. Trite. And you should know that. Right. Yeah. She didn't Can get it. She just wanted me to like do the thing in front of her. Um, I did swear a lot in the back room. I said some pretty crazy things. But it's a kitchen. It's it's the kitchen. I mean, half of those people have been in jail. Yeah. So she didn't like you. 
No, she definitely didn't like that. She, I don't think she liked running a restaurant. She, she, I think the husband no. slept yeah. with somebody at the restaurant. Uh-huh. She removed him. He flirted him. with everybody and drank yeah. all the time. So yeah. she yeah. removed him from the equation. Mm-hmm. So she's carrying that burden. Doesn't mm-hmm. want to be there to begin with. But now it's her money at stake. So now she's running it as if it's a business business right. and not mm-hmm. an entertainment business. I mean, it's an entertainment yeah. job. You have all these dipshits. That's why oh, you, guys like you on crack were able to work for 12 <laughs> years as waiters. Like, insanity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not supposed to be like an office job. You don't call someone in at 5 a.m. to fucking, on, before their coffee to fire them. That's not okay. Yeah, she mm-hmm. must have, uh, did she run like a, um, she must have been from like a corporate, that sounds like a yeah, very, very corporate. corporate. She was very rich. Uh, I think she yeah. just came from money and I don't oh, even know if she worked. Right. She 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 would bring a riding crop around with her. No horses. She didn't own horses. <laughs> she she was afraid she was going to get like raped. And what? I mean, maybe, but she was like 78. I don't know. She was older and like, not that that's an age that you oh, can't get attacked ageist. at. <laughs> not that it's not, You're but like. Ageist, Carmen. Now we're getting to the root of it. <laughs> But it was no just such an odd, old, yeah, and Vermont. <laughs> but what is a riding crop Vermont, really going like, to do what? with that? Yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> I know. What, what are you going to turn him on more? Yeah, like, I know. Right. I mean, you want sure me to ride? You want to ride me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She was yeah. Yeah, very, that sounds up, like a up, that yeah. sounds like a bad one for Why sure. Why are you yeah. against uh, like the the normal day job have to like sign in kind of gig? <laughs> I think Why I, is yeah. it all side like? Oh man, I think under the table. Is I think a, a corporate thing? job. I think a corporate job would make me go insane because it feels like everybody's playing pretend and like no one will acknowledge it. I think I would literally unravel. You couldn't get into character and play no. pretend I for fun. How was your weekend, Jane? Mine was good as well. Did you get the Q4 reports in? I would blow my brains out. Just don't give me access and to people a thought that That's <laughs> how you actually were. That's what? Kind of, what about if that's the long game where you make these people think you're kind of this robotic weirdo? The whole time you work at that job, but in reality, uh, outside of it, you're you know you miserable how and could suicidal. I, even, I had the duality. clips are already out though. Like, that, I have oh, like that is true. You yeah. are too public. I, yeah. I forgot that duality though, man. It's like you start to believe it, right? Like if you Ugh. do it too long, like really? that fake, it starts oh. to seep into your brain, and like the next thing you know, I'm like talking to my wife like that. Like it's just like, mm. <laughs> what's happening? No. So you so you can't be yourself at a corporate job. You think it feels very oh. fake. It feels okay. phony, and like behind the scenes, they're all like cheating on their wives with like the CEO. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they're fake. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. They're like, oh, we have an HR department. Yeah, your HR department is fucking ten people in the office. Like Fuck you guys people suck. openly, like comedy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cheat on people openly, like in the comedy community. <laughs> it's true. We have absolute dirt back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know what though? Tell me if this is true uh, for you or not. Uh huh. I feel like the comedy game, I got into it because I related to the dysfunctionality. Mm, I loved, mm -hmm. I was in rooms with my fellow people, right? The fuck ups, the I shouldn't be here's, the Mm -hmm. almost homeless. I mean, I'm not saying that's what you should be, but these (laughs) were the people that ended up becoming really successful, funny people. Some Mm -hmm. of them did end up homeless and were still funny. (laughs) Like it just was these people that found this painful place with these other people. Yeah. Now it's almost like the newer crop of comics are doing dirt, but everything's so like positive. Oh, I, mm-hmm. it's a different vibe, man. It's not a good vibe for me. I, I want to mm-hmm. be, don't be trash and then act like you're not trash. Be trash, you know, year round. <laughs> All yeah, yeah. yeah, every season. Three sixty five. You're right. trash. Totally. Fall, winter. It yeah, it's yeah. slipping into Are something else. Are you seeing that? Too, yes, Carmen? definitely, definitely. Yeah, there's like a lack of uh, soul in a lot of people's sets, especially even like the successful Substance, ones. Substance. What do you? All that. It's I'm all like, okay, like they're proficient and they know how to put a joke together, but they're they're lacking something, some sort of like heart, and I can't connect. And I'm like, well, that's what's good now. Oh. I'm not gonna. I gotta wait for right. the next thing then. Yeah, yeah, right. The next wave. Yeah, right. Yeah. right? Hopefully, yeah. it's because right that now that's where. Because there's, I've been doing it a long time, so it's always like, is it you say it's five years or is it now down to three years? The, of the, the every wave, wave of the wave. Mm. Well, what, was the wave? Master, yeah, what was the wave of like, like specials? Three. Remember like all the sp- the specials that were coming out? Remember like Drew Michael did like a special with no audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gary Goldman did a thing where he broke away, did a sketch with his mom. Like all the specials mm-hmm. had to be like different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now they're like all back in clubs, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Joe List, you know, mm-hmm. his spe- the, the specials are all like back in clubs now. It's not as alty. Right. Yes. It's not as alty, right? Mm-hmm. Which is a good thing. 
I think. Like, it feels like it's back to, like, club comedy. It doesn't have to be, like, a shtick Mm kind of thing. But I don't know about... That's, like, that's, like, the Netflix level, though. Right? Yeah. There's, like, levels of, like, the different waves. Like, what is feeding this next... I don't know. Wave. I feel like what Carmen's Crowd saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And th- but that's what I think, though. I think what Carmen's saying is actually what's going to happen where, you know, from the first thing you said to the one you just said, people are going to keep doing what everyone keeps telling them they should be doing, which is making clips. Clips mm-hmm. are all crowd work. People are going to write jokes where they know for a fact that that clip is going to get mm. pushed. So, of course, you're going to write jokes that, mm-hmm. like you said, don't have, in my opinion, much connection there Mm -hmm. much juice but Mm -hmm. it's going to play well to Mm -hmm. you know suit the brand and suit the algorithm because then people are also looking for sponsorships they made us corporate we were creative (gasps) so carmen you already are corporate so you might as well just be the robot no i'm not (laughs) not. plug where you're at carmen where can people find you and see you (laughs) in a hole in the ground in the woods In Vermont. <laughs> in Vermont. Oh man, at Carmstagrams on Instagram. <laughs> like, is that it? Because like, it sounds so Twitter's crazy to say really, it after we yeah. just got done everything we just said. Yeah. Follow anyway, me on Instagram. Yeah. 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 Follow me on Instagram. It's Make really me more corporate. Instagram. If yeah. you follow me, pretty soon I'll sell out too. <laughs> hey, if you give me enough money, I'll be the whore that I was always meant to be. <laughs> just offer me the money necessary for me to whore it out. Uh, Carmen's Instagram is really funny, though. I really enjoyed it today when I was doing my research. Uh, you have a link tree on there. Oh, yeah. Yep. But yeah. Uh, do you want me to be Which a PR me, person? <laughs> links you back to Instagram. I'm like, where, where can yeah. you find me? Are you, you can know? see her in Denver this weekend. Yeah, yeah. with yes. her boyfriend. Fort yeah. Collins. Be making you LOL. Yes. In the free hotel room. Uh, <laughs> JoshRicardo.com at JoshRicardo. Edward? Uh, EdMcGowan.com at EdMcGowanComedy. We have an email address. I don't know why nobody's emailing us. I think we us. got a couple we haven't looked at yet. Oh, so we, have to, we have to go true. in and check it out. I haven't checked in a while. I just, <laughs> I just say no well, one's emailing class old. Working class comedians at yeah. gmail.com. Tell us about your jobs. We will talk about it on the show. Make fun of us. Tell us we suck. We will fucking Jesus. read it on it. Yeah. He's gonna masturbate while he reads that email of you just shitting. Just all over humiliation. Him. Just hu- yeah. Just, just humi- shame boner. Just send them to me. I'm gonna send them to myself. I'm gonna be like, hey Josh, look at this Some email guy we got. Just wrote this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to shove a tuna sandwich on Ed's head and punch him in the dick. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys again next week. Later. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in working class holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.